was written on a laptop somewhere on a plane or a hotel room <laughs> around the world because I was on tour. And after the music was written, I reached out to my dear friend, a guy named you know, Grantley Phillips, and he loved the track. And it was really his vision for the lyric. So I can't take uh, any, any, any sort of credit for that. to a recording school in San Francisco when I was 19 and was probably the least likely to succeed in my class. And then I moved to Los Angeles with $1,000 and I was a, a janitor in the morning at a studio called Westlake. And then I was the runner, the sort of gopher, throughout the day. And then I would hang out at night for free with the engineers and techs and producers and musicians and kind of learn and that's when I saw what I really wanted to do, which was music production. Well, the creative process, when I write a song, it usually starts with rhythm. And if it feels right, then that'll kind of dictate what happens, you know, melodically and, and musically. When I found out about his cause for meditation, for children, for young people. I really wanted to be involved because I do a lot of different music. It's not just electronic and dance music. I have a, a world music project which is called Niaz, which is very ambient based, which can be referenced to meditation and that affects people a lot of ways. So I felt that I was a good choice to be involved in this project. I often tell young people, if you can find a passion for what you do, whatever that is, that makes life a lot easier. Because when you're doing something that you really want to do, and you want to wake up every morning, and you have a passion to do that, it's a lot easier to do that. And if you can find a way to meditate, to reach you know, within yourself, to help yourself get through the daily stress, that's a wonderful thing. If you can remind yourself that you're doing something that you really want to do, and if you're fortunate for that, it's a lot easier to walk down that road that you're always confronted with stress.